Hello, welcome to this video where we want to look at the 2023 GCE Mathematics Paper 2. Particularly, we want to look at how we can solve quadratic equations. So, what is a quadratic equation? A quadratic equation is any equation which is in this format of ax squared plus bx plus c. So, the degree of 2 entails that this is the standard format of a quadratic equation. And what we have in this question, as you can see, we have 8x squared minus 9x plus 2. So the x squared qualifies this to be a quadratic equation. And you can solve a quadratic equation using different methods, such as completing the square method, the, the formula method, the, the graphical method, among others. And in our case, we are going to use the quadratic formula to work out this question, which is coming from the 2023 GC Mathematics Paper 2, the ECZ question. Okay, so how can we do this? So we are going to look at the two equations here comparatively. Okay, so we have 8x squared and the standard format is ax squared. Okay, so by comparison, we can see that the, the reading coefficient of x squared, here we have a, here we have we have 8. So meaning the value of a is automatically equal to, equal to 8. Okay? By comparison again, we can see that the coefficient of x here is b. The coefficient of x here is negative 9. So again, we are going to say b okay is equal to negative 9 and then also by comparison we can see that the coefficient here is positive 2 then here we have c so we are saying c is equal to 2 why are we interested in knowing these values because as we can see in the formula here we understand that x is the variable in the equation which is the variable of x but a b and c are the other parts or the coefficients of x squared, x, and also the constant value. So we need to have these values in order for us to use this formula effectively. So once you identify the values of a, b, and c, then you can get the formula and then substitute these values into the formula. Let's do it. So we are going to say x is equal to, in the formula there is this negative. So we are going to put the negative here and then substitute for the value of b so we are opening the brackets and then our b is negative 9 we can close plus then there's plus and minus we put the square root then there is b here under the square root so we are going to put it in the brackets the reason is because we understand that our b has a negative so we put negative 9 then squared and then we shall say minus 4 times our a is 8 times our c is positive 2. Then we are saying everything divided by 2 times again our a is 8. I hope we are together. From there we are going to say x is equal to the negative times negatives gives us positive 9. Then plus or minus then it's important to put your, your B in brackets, especially if it has a negative. Because if you have, for instance, negative 9 squared, this gives you negative 81. But when you have negative 9 in brackets, then squared, this gives you positive 81. So this is very important to, to, to show. So we are going to have... What is negative 9 in brackets squared? This is going to give us 8, 1. Then negative 4 times 8 times 2 is going to give us negative 64. From there, we can say everything shall be over 2 by 8 gives us 16. Okay, we move. X is equal to 9 is going to be maintained. Then positive or negative again is going to be maintained. Then everything shall be over now. We subtract 64 from 81. This is going to give us 17. 
over 16. Next, we are going to say x is equal to, so you need to have a calculator nearby, and it's allowed in mathematics paper 2. 9 plus or minus, then you punch what is the, the square root of 17. So on my end, I've gotten 4.1. Two, three, one. Okay, so in this we have to divide sixteen. Remember the instruction is that we need to give our solution to two decimal places. So make sure that first of all you maintain the exact figure, and then afterwards you can round off to two decimal places. So x is equal to nine. We split the two parts because there is positive and negative. So we are going to have plus 4.1231 divided by 16. Or x is equal to 9 minus 4.1231 divided by 16. From there, I hope you are able to see. We are going to have x is equal to approximately. So now I'm rounding off. The value of x is going to be 0 0.83 or 0 0.31. This is approximation because we have already rounded off to the given, the given condition, which is to two decimal places. I hope this is going to help you as you tackle the quadratic equations. And remember, this is a composer question which always carries five marks. So it's important that you understand it. See you in the next video.